distinguished uh, friends, uh, thank you for your attention and taking the time to listen to my talk, uh, Draw Something of the Future. As we all know, communication is a key. And a new type of communication can be the key to open a door to a whole new reality. Now, let me surprise you with a question. What if we could communicate images from one mind to another without the use of spoken words? Can you imagine that? And if so, let us ask first, can there be a universal language for all of us to understand despite the cultural differences? Well, humans, same as many other animals, are seeing the world in low orders associative thinking. For example, when thinking of a banana, we think of food, a lion, danger. And as humanity formed into civilizations and more complex societies, along with them various languages and phonetic have developed to represent sound. Can you read Egyptians' hieroglyphs? Let me take you on a journey about 4,000 years back in time. Egyptians' hieroglyphs is a form of writing that was practiced in ancient Egypt by scholars and sorcerers. This writing is unique in that it is based on a combination of logograms, forming scripts using symbols of images as characters, and in more than simple words, pictures. Can you read Chinese? Well, Chinese characters are also pictures, some literal, whilst others are quite abstract. This image, for example, is taken from Shaolin's TED Talk, which is well worth watching. Why do we need symbolic representations? Why do we need ideographs when we can express our thoughts so accurately with well-written words and phonetic? In a digital world, many people find emojis an exciting way of communicating. It is fast, easy, and fun. But are they universal? And do they need to be universal? Emojis are adopted by internet users for many different countries, on many devices, and in many applications. The ubiquitous usage of images enables us to study and compare user behaviors and preferences across countries and cultures. Here, for example, we can see an analysis of how smartphone users use emojis based on a very large data set collected from a popular emoji keyboard. The data set hereby contains a complete month of emoji usage of about 4 million active users from over 200 countries and regions. These short studies demonstrate that users from different countries present significantly different preferences on emojis. What can we learn from viewing this image alone? About French people? Mexican people? We can clearly say that emojis can be a signal to tell the difference between users from different countries even without any textual information. Based on the results, we can confirm that the usage of emojis presents significantly different patterns across countries, which to a certain extent comply with the cultural backgrounds of the countries. The top 20 emojis of the month are illustrated in figure 5. Here, the emoji known as face with tears of joy is the most frequently used ones, followed by the heart, and then smile without eyes. We can find that all of the 20 emojis fall into the categories of face, heart, and a hand. Such an observation indicates that expressions and body signals play an important role in expressing ideas when using emojis. The face is overwhelmingly popular, comprising 15.5% of the total emoji usage. From figure 3, we can see 
that in the US, Brazil and Mexico, they use emoji significantly more than any other countries. One of the implications can be when trying to understand user preferences. For example, smartphone users tend to use more emojis other than type in play text when they commit reviews for food, movie, and so on. In such scenarios, the understanding of user preferences can be more accurate by synthesizing emoji uses with other contextual information, enabling developers to customize country-aware and personalized user experience or place accurate in-app advertisements. And what about that? Now, let me ask you a question. Can you send someone an entire message consisting of emojis only? In April 2012, Bing Xu presented a new graphic novel, one composed entirely of symbols and icons that are universally understood, pictograms and emojis. Can you read that? Xu Bing spent seven years gathering material, experimenting, revising and arranging thousands of pictograms to construct the narrative of book from the ground. The result is a readable story without words, an account of 24 hours in the life of Mr. Black, a typical urban white-collar worker. 4,000 years later, and we're back to the same language. Indeed, in the digital world, many people find emojis an exciting way of communicating. It is fast, easy, and fun. But what is next? With new advanced tools, humanity is making progress toward better means of communication, such as shown here the Google Pixel Buds. But... What if we took a new approach, a visual one, no words at all? Say, for example, taking emojis a few steps further toward a universal new language for us all to write together. In modern times, humans have developed and created a whole new world with many new technologies and tools that can be expressed with sound, but not necessarily have matching symbolic representations using simple images. If it was fire, tree, house, lion, banana, book, it's, it's simple. But nowadays there are new objects and technologies that are forming the world around us and becoming integral parts of our everyday life. VR, AR, V2X, 3D printing, smart cities, holograms, satellites, digital money and so on, so on. Can you tell what the iconic representations of those look like? So, let me ask you another what-if question, and here is my idea. What if we could map humanity's subjects of interest and combine them to create new ideographs? For example, as to have a better picture of what future educational institutions be like, future jobs be like. Here, goal, to combine three icons and to come up with new ones representing future topics of interest. For example, what the sign of a solar drone app operator will look like? Even the United Nations used ideographs as to represent the Sustainable Development Goals, a collection of 17 goals set in 2015. Then. Why do we need symbolic representations? Why do we need ideographs when we can express our thoughts so accurately with well-written words and phonetic? Well, the human brain sees images and it's easier for it to combine images as to come up with new ideas. With ideographs, symbolically representing new word tools, object, topics of interest, cutting-edge technologies, and the various combinations, inspiring us to come up with new ideas. There are about 
thousands of Egyptian hieroglyphs and about thousand Chinese characters. In most languages, are about say between three thousand to six thousand words, which are most used. Here in the shown table, you could see about forty-eight icons. But when pressing on each and one of them, another table appears. For example. Motion art and dance will open a whole new map of more specific ideographs. So, then, how should we consider emojis or ideographs collectively? Are they a language, albeit one that is only used in writing? You can send someone an entire message consisting of emojis, but you probably can't use emojis by themselves as a self-contained way of communicating with people without sooner or later needing to resort to English, Hebrew, or another language. But who knows? Maybe this is also about to change now. Now, think of the ideographs in Ting Global Ideographs Table. What each represents, what type of ideas and new ideographs, the combination of those can inspire us to come up with, what type of future jobs and ventures the combination of those can inspire us to come up with. Thank you.